Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to be doing jamming Friday for today's second video. So as well as on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather. So the month with Japanese and CFS V2 models. going to take us into early March, can you believe? I shall get on with that for you uh, very shortly. Just to say that the first video is a, was our 6 a.m. upload. And uh, we've also uh, got a 10 to 14 day that will include all other regular features coming up later on this afternoon. So please like, share, subscribe on the videos. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. Uh, for uh, Gaz weather vids. Right. Let's have a look then, shall we, at what's going on for the next uh, four weeks. So we're going to start off with the 500 millibar high dynamic flow charts from North Pole and Arctic view down. This is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here. This is the wider Arctic circle. And we've got the middle latitudes around here. So these are broken down into weeks. periods. The first week period will take us from the 11th to the 18th of uh, February. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, yellow, orange and red to above average heights. So blue is low pressure, red, orange, yellow, high pressure. Right, so uh, the week ahead, uh, which takes us from about the 18th of February, uh, is unsettled. Low pressure is to our north and west. High pressure is ridging uh, in off the Atlantic into southwestern Europe. And the jet stream is flat and westy, looking unsettled and pretty zonal in the week ahead. Go through the week two, uh, which is going to be the 18th to 25th of uh, February. We look like this. Again, below average heights to our north, above average heights to our south, all looking very flat and very uh, westerly and Atlantic driven. Uh, again, the only difference is that the high pressure is a little bit stronger into the south, so we'll bring slightly more in the way of drier weather there. And then week three and four, taking us from the 25th of February to the 11th of March, shows that high pressure strengthening and building northward, so above average heights, high pressure takes over across the northwest Europe, below average heights weakening around Greenland and Iceland. Again, the jet stream gets pushed northwards. So... I like to gym for the next four weeks, but it gradually turns uh, drier and probably increasingly spring-like, actually. Right, so uh, this is the tropical and mid-latitude view. The British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on this view. We can't see the Arctic, North Pole, Greenland. Those areas are off the chart up here. So reminder of the week one, 500 millibar high tonic with low pressure in off the Atlantic and a pretty strong westerly jet stream as well. The temperature anomaly is above average, particularly for England and Wales, but nearly all areas coming out above average uh, uh, in the weekend, and it's also a wetter than average week as well, so unsettled, but mild, wet and mild uh, in the week ahead. Week two is going to be the 18th to the 25th of uh, February, and again, we've got the low pressure to the north, we've got high pressure away to the south, and in are coming those uh, westerly winds once again. Once more, it's another mild of an average week ahead, especially so for England and Wales, and it is still quite unsettled, but particularly so for more northern and northwestern areas, if not quite as wet down in the south. And then uh, week three and four will take us from the 25th of February to the 11th of March. High pressure strengthens to the south and pushes northwards. That increases the temperature. So Ireland, England, uh, Ireland of the UK essentially going above average because Scotland is above average as well. So uh, mild than average for those two weeks and also still a little bit wetter than average for more northern areas, but near normal precipitation further south. So looking very mild, it has to be said, in the week ahead, the next four weeks, um, looking really, really mild. Right, CFS V2, uh, next, see how it compares. So these are 500 millibar heights broken down into weekly periods. The first week period takes from the 11th to 17th of February. The coming week is unsettled with uh, below average heights, low pressure over and to the northern country. In comes this strong westerly jet stream again. So it's an unsettled and wet week to come. And that goes on into week two as well, really. This is the 18th to 24th of February. Again, low pressure to the north, high pressure uh, to the south winds in from that westerly direction. Most of settled in the north, but even the south, there will be some rain. Week three is the 25th of February to the 3rd of March. Again, lots of low pressure away to the northwest. High pressure just strengthening, though, a little bit more down to the south. Could turn more some areas out a little bit drier. Um, whoops. And then we go through to uh, week four, which then has high pressure taking control. So, in agreement, really, between the German and the CFS V2 this week. This is the 4th to the 10th of March. And by this point, high pressure really has taken over then across most parts of Europe, including 
Western Europe will be wind direction with that will be coming up from the south southwest so that will also be very mild the temperature anomaly in the week ahead from the 11th 17th of February is uh, above average the uh, week 2 temperature anomaly 18th to 24th of February is also slightly above average in England and Wales not as mild though uh, in week 2 week 3 is the 25th of February to the uh, 3rd of March that's above average too and then week 4 goes really mild this is proper spring this is the 4th to the 10th of March Proper, proper spring-like weather with temperature anomalies around 2 to 3 degrees above average. And then precipitation-wise, week 1, 11th, 17th February, uh, wetter than average. Um, week 2 is also wetter than average from the 18th to 24th of February. Week 3 is the 25th of February to the 3rd of March. That goes wetter than average, particularly to the north and west. And then week 4 is going to be the 4th to the 10th of March. A bit wetter than average just to our northwest, but a bit drier than average down to our cell. So we've got pretty good agreement, actually, between the two models uh, today. To be honest, it looks like we're going to be in for a pretty unsettled start. Plenty of rain and wind coming in off the Atlantic. It will be mild, though. Um, and then the transition later February into early March is towards higher pressure. How quickly it happens, a little bit of disagreement there. So have a week three, week four. Um, there's a bit of disagreement there. But the overall trend is towards high pressure to, to build in and uh, turn us drier. Yes, and also turn us into proper spring-like weather with uh, warm. Or very mild anyway to warm southwesterly winds and uh and whatnot so um yeah it's looking like spring is going to be arriving for early march no sign of a of a, of a, of a winter shock um for the end of february into march it looks like it, it's mild all of the way and just going from unsettled to uh, drier or wet to drier I suppose. Right, we'll be back uh, a little bit later on with your 10 to 14 day. That will include all the regular features. Uh, but for Jeremy Freud, maybe it's just a snapshot, though, though, by the way. You know, any forecast beyond five, seven days is fraught with danger. So just keep that in back of your mind. It may not play out like this, but I've got a good agreement between the two models. Uh, but anyway, we'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day. That will include all our regular features. So come back for that then. But for Jeremy Freud, this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.